Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be assembling and just taking a quick first look at the new frame from Real AAC. It's called the Blackbird 208. It's a 5 inch quad and it looks fairly light so far. I don't know yet. We're going to just put it together and we are going to take a look at it. So what it comes with, this is right, everything in front of you right here is what it comes with. It comes with the nylon standoffs, four arms, the battery pad thingy. These I have no idea what they are yet. I mean, once I start putting together, I'll know. Some standoffs, your screws, and it comes with the PDB, the normal PDB. Is it Maytech? Yeah, it's Maytech. I don't know if it's original or not. It doesn't matter really. So we're going to be taking a look at this, and uh, I'm going to be measuring the arms right now and measuring this. I don't know what this is. Possibly a side plate. Uh, I'll know as I go right now. So let's just take a look at everything and measure everything, and then uh, and then from there we t we put it together and weigh it and just take a quick look at it. So let me get the caliper ready and then we can just measure it. All right guys, so let's start with the arms. They're very thin, very thin. I think this is gonna probably need a four on one uh, ESC. So let's measure it right here. Let me see. Okay, that is, the width is about nine millimeters. So it's nine millimeters. And let's see the thickness. The thickness is uh, four millimeters. So it's four millimeter arms here we have, and they're very, very thin. And that's good. I mean, they centered out the holes. I see this being the weak part right there. So this could possibly break in a crash. I don't know if they have spare arms yet, but eventually they probably will. So let's take a look at these. I believe one of these is the bottom plate. Oh, this this should be the top plate since it has a hole for the VTX. So let's just check the width. It's about um, two millimeters. Yeah, it's about two millimeters. So that's pretty good. It's, it's going to be a fairly light build. This is going to be the lower plate here, also two millimeters, and this is going to be holding the arms in place, and that is. Um, Three, no, not two millimeters. It's also two millimeters, and I believe everything's gonna be here two millimeters. Yeah, and this is two millimeters. This is, I think these are the side plates. This I don't think we'll need. This is possibly for the camera, kind of setup up there, which is uh three millimeters. So this is three millimeters. That's pretty good. Um, so let's just take a look at the holes and how close they are to the edges, uh, just to see any spot any weak points. This seems fairly decent. Um, yeah, it seems it seems okay. It seems good. It's a light build. I mean, don't expect durability. I, I'm not going to be expecting any durability in this, to be honest. And I see this being as a weak point. And um, yeah, and here this also. But it should it should hold up fairly well since this is two millimeters, not one point five. It's a little bit above two millimeters, so it should be actually pretty good. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put this together, and I'll be right back once it's done and put together, and then we can just take another look at it. All right, guys. So now we have the frame all assembled. Um, there's a couple things you guys need to note while assembling this. Uh, these two side plates go through the top plate and I had to file down both sides to fit it in. It was just an absolute nightmare. I had to do that. I um, didn't have to file it down much but I really did have to kind of file it down. Another thing, um, this camera holder here, there, these are the inner parts is just two separate pieces of carbon fiber, those three millimeter or four that we, we measured. The They don't align very good so I had to force one of the screws went up like this and then it found its way and another thing these two screws here they were not long I had, could not find it they did not give any that were long enough to go through it so I had to just look around for a, a bit of a longer uh, M3 screw here to actually fit in here um, other than that what else uh, there's another standoff that goes down here but I'm not gonna take the piss and actually just put it so I'm just gonna leave it out um, other than that it's just I, it looks very good actually, but you know, I'm 100% I'm sure I'm gonna break this, but you know, I think I'm gonna go crazy with this. I think I will do an F80 motor build on this since they finally came in. And since I know one of those two are gonna break eventually since T-Motor is just, even my the F40 replacements that I got uh, actually broke also. So I um, mean, I'll probably do a video about that later. So I'm really sick of T-Motor. I'm not gonna go with T-Motor ever again, really. So I'm really scared. So I'm, I'm, this one's going to break. I hope not, and I hope the motors actually do last. I think it's going to be a pretty good flyer. Um, let's see if it's a true X. 
by the way these standoffs are 27 millimeters so if you, if you just needed to know that let's see if it's a true x real quick all right so it is a true x that's good um now let me just show you how the arms are held in place uh so the arms you have just four screws uh eight screws actually holding them in place uh the outer screws actually go into the standoffs there are, there is no nuts and the middle ones actually go into the nylon uh, standoffs here for your flight controller and it's pretty awesome they give you a little mounting solution and this little X thing that's like part of the frame actually let me see yeah um, no actually it doesn't I was thinking that it actually helps you out with the battery strap but it really doesn't really so you're gonna have to run your battery strap above this and into these holes so that's good now there's these holes in the middle but I have no idea for what there's just there's no reason for them and you can see them line up here um, I haven't tightened them all the way down, so I guess you can see if it's perfectly aligned. Um, I mean, I, when I saw it, I, I thought it looked beautiful, really. So that's why I got it, and uh, no one has done anything about it yet, so I would love to be the first to try it out. Now, the camera mounting solution is just perfect. And uh, just note, you see that screw that I was talking about? I had to go in like this, and but it's okay. We'll fix that later on. But the mounting solution is awesome. They even give you a hole here to mount your GoPro session. So I, actually, I'm actually liking it, really. I'm really enjoying it. Now, the camera's going to go here. It looks good. It looks promising. Um, I, I can't really say much about it just yet until we actually go try it out. Um, it's, it seems fairly light, so let's just quickly measure it. All right. Okay, so we're on zero. It is 83 grams, so that's fairly light actually, 83 grams. I think it's the lightest frame I've gotten to this day that's fully assembled. Now if we add this, let's see how it's going to turn out, 91 grams, but sometimes I usually, I usually don't even add that right there. Um, let's just see the battery strap, 86, 87, 87 grams, so it's between 80, how much, 83 and 84 grams. One moment. Yeah, it's between 83 and 84 grams. That's why the scale does. So 83, 84 grams. Let's just say 84 grams, which is it's fairly light. It's very light. But uh, you know, the I don't know about the amount of space you have inside. It's going to be a very, very tight build. Um, you're going to need some kind of all-in-one flight controller. ESCs. I mean, you will, if you put them out here, they're not going to be protected. If you get a four-in-one, you're going to just decrease the amount of space like crazy in there. Maybe you could stick your VTX below this here. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's a very very tight squeeze in there. So <clears throat> I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I don't know if I'm gonna actually build this as my second one. Uh, however, I got the F4 Flame flight controller, but I want to do uh, noise testing before actually putting it on a quad. So this guy could probably take that flight controller. We could test it out. Um, but yeah, so overall, it looks nice. I mean, that's all I could really say about it. The, the There was some misalignment problems you're going to have to fix on your own. You need to find longer screws just for these two. These are fine. It's just because you have a double layer of uh, carbon fiber. Um, you cannot adjust the camera angle here. Uh, you have your normal mounting solution, just one hole for your uh, FPV camera. And your battery strap is going to have to go below the PDB or flight controller, whatever you choose to put below here. So it's not going to be able to go through here. But you got these awesome cutouts, so that'll kind of help in a way. Um, and yeah. Yeah, that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. So um, if you're thinking of getting this uh, frame, uh, here it is. Uh, you can see it for yourself. If you like it, you can go ahead and grab one. Um, I kind of like it. But I know it's not going to hold up very well, actually. Well, that's my, my that's what I think it's not going to hold up very well. But I believe it's going to fly beautiful. It's, it's very light. But if you get your uh, wire management and your stack management exactly correct, and don't forget you have VTX receiver. It's just going to take a lot of space. So um, I don't think this is good for a beginner build. Maybe like an intermediate to an expert. So should probably take this frame on. And if you're just feeling very uh lucky and, and very good about this and just go ahead and get it if you're a beginner go ahead and try it out um so uh that's basically basically going to conclude it for this video guys and um it looks like an overall pretty good 
frame. Uh, I think it was like $30, I'm not sure, so it's, it's pretty cheap, and it's fairly light, $25 actually, $26, $25.99 USD, so it's, it's, it's fairly cheap, it's fairly good, something different, if you want to try something different, here it is, it's new, and um, it's fairly light, and it's going to be kind of aerodynamic in a way, it has a little like, aerodynamic profile, since they're just so thin, and... Um, and that's really it guys so that's gonna conclude it for this video and i will see you next time see you guys take care